And a welcome to the North American Invitational here in Onondaga, New York. Well, we've got some lacrosse action between the Rochester Bats and the Mega Sharks. My name is David Bowie, and I will bring you along for the broadcast for this game. Rochester Bats dressed out in the brown and purple with a white trim. And the Mega Sharks in the blue and white. Kind of a popular video game character that's noticeable on the front. For all you video game fans out there, that is indeed Mega Man on the front with Mega Man font for all those geeks out there, just like myself. Very interesting selection of jerseys. And we are set to go underway here for the opening faceoff. Faceoff will be won by the Mega Sharks. As Evan Downey will start the attack. He'll drop it off for George Downey. He's on the far side. Looking for a man, he'll give it to Mason Poage. I mean, from behind the back, here's a chance. Shot score! Luke Pilcher sneaks in through the slot from the wing. And just like that, it's a quick one nothing. Only 38 seconds into the first half. The Mega Sharks are on the board. A lot of tension drawn in from the point. And Luke Pilcher left unguarded, able to get it in on net. The Mega Sharks win the opening draw again. And now they're back on the attack. Pass not quite on the mark, so they're going to have to regroup. As Greg Wheaton takes it back to Deckelbaum. Deckelbaum switches through, makes a move. There's a shot, and it's going to be saved by Armstrong. And a whistle is going to be blown as one of the penalty, one of the doors have been wide open and should have been closed. So it's a quick adjustment, and we'll get back to it. Things at the time is still running, even when all that happening. So just over three minutes have elapsed here in the first half. Here's a quick shot, and that just goes wide. Colton Armstrong, this is John Carson. Sorry, Carson John in net. And back come the other way. Here come the Mega Sharks. Quick shot for the slot score. Eric Turner getting a nice little feed into the high slot. And then using his speed and getting it through on John. And that makes it 2 nothing already. Not even three minutes into this contest. And it was a great dish out from the far side wing into the high slot as Eric Turner just rushed in with speed, able to get it through the five hole of Carson John. It's two nothing for the Mega Sharks. Face off is won by Rochester. And it is brought back and they will start the rush. Ball's on the near side, that's Mike Triolo. Kind of loses the ball, ball's loose up in front and it'll be scooped up by the Mega Sharks. That's Flounlacker going up the, the far side wing but he's being checked by two men and ball is jarred loose and back into the possession of the Bats. So they'll have to restart the rush. Kyle Riverick, the far side cutting to the middle. Now back the opposite way, tries to go an overhead shot, save. There's another shot, it's deflected. And some heavy checking will force the bats out of the slot. Now comes his shot, 
And looks like that just went out on wide. Another, another shot, score! Mike Triolo able to fetch the rebound off the ricochet off the half wall glass. And he's able to make his shot count. It's now two to one and narrows the lead. And that ball just kind of shot up there a bit like a pop fly as Triolo able to just gather it very quickly with his tall stature. Able to outreach anybody else on that and his body positioning. Got it, and just launched it through the five hole. Now we have a false start in the faceoff against the Mega Sharks, so Rochester will go on the attack with possession. Tom Riverich on the near side. Tries to pass it from behind his back. Not quite on the mark, but he's able to re retrieve it. Low shot. That'll be saved. It looks like it was going to go wide anyhow. Luke's ball up in front will be scooped up by Bill O'Brien. His pass just outside of his own, not on, right there. And now the bats will go back on the attack. Here comes Rochester, trying to find a lane in. Low shot, bouncing, and that will just go wide. But again, bats retrieve it. However, that did not hit the goalie, so the shot clock will not reset. Seven seconds, shot, score! And just like that, we've got a tie game as Mark Stanton, all alone in the slot, able to get the rebound and take it home. It's two to two. And again, another incident of a fortunate bounce for Rochester Batson with a Johnny on the spot. Able to make the play and get it through with a one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. So far, Rochester able to come back from the 2-0 deficit in the first few minutes of the opening half. Have come back, it's tied up 2-2 with 8.27 left to go here in the first half. Not even halfway through, we've already seen four goals. Two divided apiece. Colton Armstrong coming in hard. From behind the net. Now he goes back in the reverse direction. He'll drop it off to his man. Long pass to Triolo, but it's not there. And back come the Mega Sharks. Long outlet pass, just not there for Evan Downey, who just couldn't corral it. And Evan Downey just kind of being stick checked out of it, kind of fell down. Now they pick up the loose ball, but possession will go in favor of the Rochester Bats. And right now they're on a 2-0 run. Scoring the last two. Can they get the third here? They've been looking sharp on their last few offensive drives. Jeff Geddes to Kyle Riberick. Riberick trying to go through with power, but he's getting checked hard by James Fay. Centering pass not there. Ball is loose up in the far side corner. Who's got it? I think Tom Riverich has it, but it doesn't matter as the shot clock runs out. Good defensive stand by the Mega Sharks to first force that turnover. Greg Wheaton on the near side, on the far side. He's getting pinned up by two men. I was hacking and slashing him. Another mega shot comes in to help, but Wheaton's able to come away with it for now. But again, two men come in, and there's going to be a delayed penalty call. It's going to be a hold against the bats. That looks like that's Adam Peroni that's going to hit the box. Two, one minute for holding. And again, minor penalties are one minute here at the North American Invitational as opposed to two. A great job by the Mega Sharks to draw that penalty. Just kept fighting for that ball, and as a result, drew the penalty. Now they're on the power play. Let's see if they can capitalize on their opportunity. Quick shot, save, rebound, and it'll be picked up by Rochester. Doogie Van Arum tries to do a fake spin. 
as he tries to gain to the offensive zone. He'll just pass it off. And now Anthony Isarari loses the ball. And the Mega Sharks will come up with it. LC Marshall coming in with speed. Holds it. And he'll decide not to take the shot, but he'll pass it off to one of his teammates who's now coming into the near side. Here's a shot from the point, and that's going to be saved. John able to shoulder that away. And it's going to be picked up by Colton Armstrong back the other way, and he's going to be able to draw a penalty as the bats penalty expires. Here comes Carson John. He's getting off and waiting for the extra attacker to come on. Six men out now for Rochester on offense. Rubrick, shot, save, and that will get the penalty, and it will be a minor tripping is the call. Well, let's just see who it is against. But after a good penalty kill by the Mega Sharks, they will now go on the power play. And it's going to be George Downey of the Mega Sharks, number three, serving the penalty. So here come the bats on offense, on the power play. Ribrick, pass up, there's a shot, and that's just wide left on the short side. Ball will be retrieved by Tom Ribrick. Going in through the middle to Triolo. He's got a goal so far, he winds up shot, save. Ball's up in the air. That's gonna be picked up by the Mega Sharks. C.J. Fleming on the recovery. Wow, that's a vicious slashing that almost came around the knees. But nonetheless, it works in Rochester right back on offense. 18 seconds left on the power play. Winds up, winds up. Decides to pass it. There's a quick snapper. Rebound. And it's just like, oh, and that's a bit of a vicious hit by C.J. Fleming to a man that didn't really have possession. It looked like that was Clay Arnold who took the hit, and then there's going to be a penalty on that one. So just after killing one penalty, Mega Sharks will have to do another one. And I feel like a real true penalty now is that's another straight minute that they'll have to cut it off. C.J. Fleming going in for cross-checking. It'll just be a minor. Had that been to a to the head, we could have seen a major penalty. I haven't seen a whole lot of them today, but we have seen them in the early going, earlier in the day today. Low shot, score! And it was only a matter of time for Tom Riverick to get a goal, and he does so, getting a low shot. And they score on the power play, which breaks the tie. It's now three to two for the Rochester Bats. We now have three unanswered goals after coughing up the first two to the Mega Sharks with a hot start. Mega Sharks scoring two goals in less than the first three minutes of the game, and now all of a sudden, Rochester Bats asserting their dominance here as we approach the final two minutes of the first half. Loose ball finally be picked up by Mikey Shea of the Mega Sharks. He's going along the wing on the far side. Now he's going to take it from around the net. Now to the near side with some speed. Trying to look for a little help. Pass the, pass the point. Cradle, cradle. There's a shot and that was going to be blocked. I think that was Doogie Van Arum who made the block. Looks like it hit him in the left thigh. And now the bats will come away with it. Oh, that pass intended for Mark Stanton is intercepted. And we're going to get a whistle. It'll be an illegal substitution. That's going to be number 47, Scott Prestige, heading to the box. He'll serve the penalty. One minute left to go here in the first half. So unless... Rochester scores or draws, gets a penalty of their own. 
They're pretty much going to be on the power play for the rest of this half. Loads up, shot, a nice shoulder save. The shoulder just came in at the last second, too. What fantastic reaction time to be able to make that save. It's almost like lightning in a bottle with that shot. Rochester back on the attack. There's a shot that's, that's high and wide. There come the Mega Sharks. It's one on three. And oh, what a huge slash. Didn't jar the ball out initially, but after the dropped, after the drop of the stick, it finally came out afterwards. A little bit of a delay of how that ball came out. It was actually trapped within the stick as it was slashed out. But once the stick was moved, the ball actually rolled out. And that's going to do it for the first half as the Rochester Bats, after letting up two goals, score three unanswered and will have a five-second carryover power play into the second half as they lead it 3-2 to two over the Mega Sharks. My name is David Bowie, and if you're joining us, you are watching the North American Invitational of 2019 in Onondaga, New York. The LAX All-Stars coming out as players from all around the globe and from the NCAA out here to showcase their skills in front of scouts. That'll hopefully get the attention of them as hopefully these are the stars of the future, possibly making it to the NLL very soon. But you don't. And we'll just take a break and we'll be back soon, but don't go away as these intermissions do not last long. And we are back here in a matchup between the Rochester Bats and the Mega Sharks. Score is 3 to 2 in favor of Rochester. They scored the last 3 unanswered after coughing up the first two goals in less than 3 minutes to the Mega Sharks. And what looked to be a potential route all of a sudden has become a very close game with the Rochester Bats showing off their resilience. Now let's see if the Mega Sharks can recover from this unfortunate, daunting latter part of the first half. As the opening faceoff of the second half is about to begin. Faceoff will be won by the Mega Sharks. Let's see if they can get that hot start that they had at the beginning of the first half. It's gonna start in the offensive zone for the Mega Sharks. Eric Turner. He's got a goal so far. Gets it off to Evan Downey, who's taken it from behind the net. Thought about a Superman dive, but instead hands it right back. Bars jarred loose, but it's still recovered. But he's got to take a shot as there's one second left, and that's going to be a shot clock violation. Good defense by the Rochester Bats, not allowing a, shot, a real shot to go off. And now in transition. Here comes Rochester, and already they lost the ball, and now the Mega Sharks are going to come back the other way. Here comes the offensive unit coming on to help out Bill O'Brien. And now O'Brien will go back to the bench. Delayed penalty call coming up. It's going to be against Rochester. Extra attacker is on. There's a shot from the slot. Save, rebound. And it was in control and corralled by a bat, so... We will see a Mega Shark power play as it is going to be holding against Mike Triolo. He does have a goal in this game thus far, but now he will serve one minute in the sin bin. 
Mega Sharks about to start their attack on the power play. Great passing going around the outside, trying to find a lane. There's a quick shot, and that just goes wide left. Opposite of the short side. Another quick shot, and that's just high. That's going to bounce all the way over, and that will be an over and back. So possession will go to Rochester. You can tell there's a lot of velocity behind that shot, which has caused that huge bounce to go all the way back at such an alarming speed, which caused that over and back. They're trying to gun it hard. Now here come the Mega Sharks, getting the last 10 seconds of their power play. Shot by Hickman is going to be saved by John. Luke's ball out in front. The ball shoots out, and we're going to get a whistle. And it'll be a Mega Sharks ball. We'll push from the back. There's a quick shot, and that's right armed away by John. Able to lift up his right shoulder and get his kind of his bicep in the way of that shot. Good job there with great body positioning. Here come the bats the other way. Mike Trio fresh out of the box. There's a shot overhead, scores! Adam Peroni gets on the scoreboard with an overhead shot from the point. And that's now four unanswered goals by the Rochester Bats. And that is the getaway goal here as we are just over three and a half minutes into the second half. Loose ball from the faceoff. Nobody has possession of it yet. There's a lot of slashing going on. And finally, the bats will corral it and will start the attack. Bounce pass to Irizarry. He'll get it to Clay Arnold. Irizarry, shot, overhead shot, and that's going to be saved by Kusterer. Long outlet pass, just not there for Eric Turner. That could have been a breakaway, but he slashes the ball out. And that's going to be a penalty for goaltender interference. As he made that slash, he did have his foot in the crease as he made it. So he will head to the box for a minor penalty. Rochester Bats now have a chance on the power play to even extend this lead even further. They're already up by two. It's gonna start with Mike Triolo. He's got it in the middle. Gets off to win, low shot! And I almost thought that up went in. It looked like it went through his five hole. But I don't know how that did not go in. Oh my, it probably hit the stick. But whatever it was, it looked like it went through five hole but didn't go into the net. As Kuster had to fall back afterwards to make the save and not let that ball trickle in. And now the Mega Sharks shorthanded. We're trying to kill some clock. Six seconds left on the shot clock. Comes in, shot, save by John. Long outlet pass, two on two. Here comes another man to join the rush. And some good stick checking by the Mega Sharks. Jars it loose, and now we're gonna go back the other way as CJ Fleming will start the rush, but I think he's looking for some of his offensive unit to get back out there, and he'll just shove it off to Mason Poge. Luke Pilcher, he's got a goal already in this game, looking for a second. Tries to go over top, but saved by John, who's able to shrug that off. And it will be Bat's ball. 8.37 left to go here in the second half.
As the bats start the attack. At the point in the near side is Jeff Geddes. Geddes with a shot, he scores! Jeff Geddes able to make the goal opposite short side on the run and he extends the lead even further. It's now five to two. And oh boy, what a shot that was. Kind of shooting opposite to your short side and being able to snipe it through between the goaltender's arm and the post. Not an easy shot to make, uh-oh. And there seems to be some pushing and shoving going on. That's a goal by Eric Turner. Able to get it through the five hole of Carson John. And the middle of that too, in the neutral zone, there was some pushing and shoving going on, almost like a fight was about to break out. Kind of drew attention away from Eric Turner, but nonetheless, that's his second goal of the game. It's now five to three as the Sharks have finally answered the Rochester Bats who were on a five goal run. We are just over seven minutes away from the second half. Mega Sharks back on the attack. Matt Hickman gets it off to George Downey. Downey on the near side wing. Get it to his man, Decklebaum. Back to Downey. Downey with a shot. That's wide right. And that'll go out of play, but referees say it was tipped up. So actually one's overruled the one official overruled the other saying there was no tip so it's going to be bats ball that ball just goes high into the stands be a lucky a souvenir there for a lucky fan maybe nonetheless the bats will resume play with a full clock in the offensive zone jeff fernandez gets it off to his man clay arnold arnold back out to the middle to Colton Armstrong. Bit of a spin move. Shot, score! It looked like Mike Triolo accidentally intercepted a pass intended for Jeff Fernandez, but he made the most of it as he was able to beat Kusterer over the top and sniped it in the corner. And just like that, a quick response from the bats. Now six to three with 5.34 left to go here in the second half. And if you're Jeff Fernandez, I don't think you're gonna to be too mad at your teammate, even though he intercepted a pass from you, but he did score off it, so. A goal was the outcome in the end, so if you're a bat, you can't really complain about that too much. And speaking of the bats, they're back on the attack again. Here's a quick shot, but that's gonna be wide on the short side but he was deflected and out of play, so will remain bats ball with a new shot clock. Rochester. Oh, almost goes shot, score! And the bats just continuing their offensive ways as Mark Stanton gets his second goal of the game. And you can argue that maybe it wasn't the goalie that was the biggest obstacle. He almost ran into the official as he had to duck and he almost ran into him as he took that pass before making that shot. Got to wonder who was impeding that play more, the official or the goaltender. But nonetheless, he's able to make it work as Stan gets a second goal of the game to put them up 7-3. to three. Bats back on the attack and oh, almost a one-on-one -on -one chance. Had Clay Arnold able to get that pass, but there's a quick shot. And that's saved by Kuster. Bats still retain possession. Shot clock wasn't reset, so there's 10 seconds on the clock still. Here's a quick shot. That just goes high and wide. Five seconds left. Got to take a shot from behind the net. Tries to deposit it back door. Not on the mark, and Mike Triolo. Just kind of gives him a bit of a laugh there as he tried to make that shot. It would have been cool, and it would have been his hat trick. Now back the other way come the Mega Sharks. Quick shot, trying going against the green, but that's saved by John. It's George Downey trying to make that goal. Decklebaum 
comes in with speed. This shot just goes wide left. And it'll be retrieved by the bats. Dougal Van Arum gets it off to Chris Shevins on the far side. To Irizarry, now to Colton Armstrong. Ball's kind of bouncing in the air. It's still corralled by the bats, but there's seven seconds left. They gotta take a shot. Shot, and they do it. Score! Colton Armstrong gets into the mix with a goal of his own as he beats Brian Kuster at the five hole in the dying seconds of the shot clock. And it is now eight to three for Rochester over the Mega Sharks with 2.35 left to go here in the second half. And what a game this has been for the Rochester Bats. Already suffering two early goals, going on a five goal run, letting in one more, but then responding with another three. Rochester absolutely imposing themselves here against the Mega Sharks. And they have possession once again as Jeff Geddes has the ball. He has one goal already this game. That pass is intercepted by Eric Turner. Turner gets it off to George Downey on the wing on the near side. He's shuffling around, trying to ponder his move, looks for a pick. Doesn't really get it as the man-to-man -man switches off. There's a long shot, and that just goes wide. Saved by John. Loose ball rolling. Megashark doesn't have a stick. Here's a breakaway chance for Colton Armstrong. Shot saved by Kuster. Gets it on the right pad. Luke Pilcher doesn't have his stick out there. It's actually in just outside of the neutral zone, close to the Rochester bat zone. So he's got the play with that one. Here's a shot and score. Adam Peroni gets his second of the game as he sidearm slings it, able to beat Brian Kusterer. That is 9-3 now for Rochester. Four unanswered goals, and it's the big runs from Rochester that is absolutely getting them to dominate this game. They had a five-goal run. Now they're on a four-goal run as we are about to enter the last minute of play here in the second half. For one... Complete offense, the other, hopefully a merciful whistle. The legal substitution penalty has been called. So we will get a penalty shot as if an illegal substitution penalty has been occurred in the last two minutes of a half. He'll be awarded a penalty shot, and it looks like that Eric Turner of the Mega Sharks will be taking this. And if he does score this, this will be the hat trick for him. Oh, we, uh, let's, let's see what happens. Turner coming with speed, takes a shot. He scores and picks the top corner out. May not mean much, but that is the hat trick for Eric Turner as he come, came in with great speed and able to snap the top right corner, beating out Carson John. And it's now nine to four. But that goal is pretty much just gonna be a stat pattern. And it's really hard to come back with five goals here in the last minute. So face-off violation will give the Rochester Bats possession as they enter the attacking zone as Anthony Irizarry has it, but he's being completely harassed by Evan Downey and he cross-checks him back. And it'll be a foul, so the ball will go back the other way for the Mega Sharks. Quick opportunity, trying to go one-timer, not there. Might have been better to just take the shot. 
trying to look for the perfect shot. When you get no shot, that's what happens. Hey, Rosari, stutter step, try to go, and he kind of slipped, but he makes his recovery, takes a shot. That just gets deflected wide. Shot clock reset. Mike Sharks have possession, and that pass is intercepted. Only for a moment, though, as Corey Arnold gets knocked down. Into the dying seconds, might have a chance for one more goal. One timer shot, not on the mark. Last two seconds, one more shot. And that will do it. As the Rochester Bats, with two streaky runs of five goals and four goals, after being down by two in the opening few minutes, defeat the Mega Sharks by a score of nine to four. Three different goal scores for Rochester with multiple goals. Three other players scoring one goal for Rochester as they trek on to a victory here against the Mega Sharks. Here in one, the second last game of the night. And my name is David Bowie. Thank you for joining us here for the Lax All Stars North American Invitational here in Onondaga, New York. Stay tuned, we will have one more game for you here at the arena. That's gonna be the Seneca Marksman against the Verrat Voyagers. So stay tuned for that game. But for now, we will bid you farewell for watching this game. Thank you for tuning in here for Lacrosse TV for the North American Invitational. Final score, Rochester Bats nine, the Mega Sharks four. Thank you so much for watching. And have a good night.